As a follow-up to the video I posted last week about uh, a client who we were selling a house for and the buyers just didn't show up and stopped returning phone calls and emails, what did we do? Um, well, we uh, took the buyer's earnest money and gave it to our seller and started making calls in our database and connecting with other investors that we knew. And we got him a cash offer that was $10,000 more than the original offer that he got. So uh, he ended up making uh, significantly more money on the deal with less of a headache. And so I wanted to point that out because a lot of people, especially sellers, they don't think it matters what agent you work with. They think that getting the cheapest person to put their property on the MLS as possible is the best way to go because all we're doing is just filling in blanks on a contract. Um, and in this instance, uh, I think a lot of other agents probably would have uh, waited to hear back from these buyers and hopefully got that contract done and missed out on making their client significantly more money. And so that's what we did. Um, the flip side to that is these, these poor buyers who I actually I feel bad for, their agent reached back out to us about four days later and said, hey, we're really sorry that we haven't been returning phone calls and emails. The sellers had some personal stuff going on. Everything's back in order and we're ready to sign now. And by then we were already under contract with a new buyer. And so we said, well, sorry. So uh, I highly doubt that that agent called their buyers back and said, hey, we didn't communicate at all with the seller and completely dropped the ball. And now you've lost your earnest money and um, too bad for you. Uh, I would be willing to bet the conversation went more along the lines of these sellers are being ir irrational and they're not communicating well and they're causing all kinds of problems and we think we should move on to the next deal. So those buyers probably have no idea that their agent didn't advocate for them and completely sold them out and um, they're off looking at another house or maybe they have to go back to the drawing board and save up money for their next uh, earnest money payment. So. Um, it's really hard to tell if you're getting good service as a consumer uh, in this industry, but I highly recommend that you interview some agents and you probably should start with us.